what is going on everybody it's jet central coming back with today's recap video between the buffalo bills and the new york jets now the bills won the game final score 17 to 16 and my disappointment is it's unmeasurable all right the jets coaching staff the jets players talked a lot they talked a really big game heading into week one uh week one at metlife stadium against a division rival and we simply could not back it up all right we couldn't back it up the buffalo bills outworked us today the buffalo bills outlasted us today um we have to give credit where it's due. The Buffalo Bills last season were a solid group. You know, they weren't winning the Super Bowl last year. But, of course, they weren't, you know, a bottom feeder in the league. They weren't picking top three or anything like that. So it's a formidable team. And both the Bills and the Jets do kind of mirror each other in a bunch of different ways. You know, young coaching staffs, young quarterbacks, um, both young up-and-coming defenses that fly around the field. And both kind of have the same weak spots. Now, the Jets, of course, went uh, big game hunting and free agency with Mosley, Crowder, Bell. Whereas the Bills kind of went in the opposite direction, kind of ignoring the playmaker. Uh, you know, spending a lot of money in um, you know with playmakers like running backs and stuff like that. And they kind of focused on the trenches, you know, with the signing of Mitch Morse and, of course, drafting uh, Ed Oliver. So it is interesting kind of seeing two different uh, or two, uh, two teams that are really similar kind of go head to head and both, you know, are, you know, rivals, obviously, of the AFC East. But man, oh, man, there was so much, uh, you know, I know this, you know, this anybody that watched today's game um, knows that the Jets struggled today big time on so many different uh, accounts. Whether you're talking about Adam Gase's play calling, especially at the end of the game, absolutely, it was more. I was mortified watching that last drive, okay? Absolutely mortified. Um, you know, Darnold was... The whole quarterback play of the New York Jets today was awful. Um, no halftime adjustments. The special teams blunder. I don't like having three to four turnovers, okay? Because, yes, the Bills did turn the ball over technically four times, but one of them was on fourth and one, and he bobbled the snap. So I guess you could count it as a turnover, but it's not really the same as, like, a pick on first first down to 10. Or, you know, the you know uh, opposite team is driving, and, uh, you know, they, they fumble the ball, whatever. It's on a fourth down, so either way, the Jets were going to get the ball there. So really three to four turnovers, and we lose by one point, okay? And, and six of the points... That were scored by the Jets came off of a C.J. Mosley pick six. Are you kidding me? So we have three, ex four extra possessions with Le'Veon Bell, with Jamison Crowder, with Sam Darnold, who's expected to make a huge, huge jump in year two, with Kaleche Osemele, with Ryan Khalil, with a offensive genius mastermind head coach, and we get six, we get sixteen points to finish the day, and like I said, six of those points came from the defense. I, and the Buffalo Bills defense is great. I'm not taking a shot at the Buffalo B the Bills defense here. Poyer. Um, you know, they got so many guys. Edmonds. I love the Ed Oliver pick. You got, you got Trey White. All right. <laughs> I love the Bills defense here. They got so many good underrated players over there in Buffalo. Micah Hyde. But we at home, with a brand new coaching staff, with so many new weapons on the offense side of the football, we can only muster up 16 points. Are you kidding me? I mean, Darnold was overthrowing guys. He was skipping passes in the dirt. Uh, the tackles were getting beat left and right. Um, the play calling in the end is absolutely horrible. Why? And I'm trying not to sit here and rant. Um, but, you know, we're down by one point at the end of the game. And we're not running the football at all. We just signed Le'Veon Bell. At one point was the best running back in football. And, you know, we're throwing every single down, acting like we're down by 20 and we need to make, you know, we're, we're, we were, uh, it was weird because the Buffalo Bills early on in the game were throwing and throwing and throwing, and the only time they ever ran the ball was when Josh Allen just kept it and you know, uh, you know, really just pinned his ears back and just you know took off uh, because nobody was open. Then they kind of made some great, great halftime adjustments, and the Jets did not make any halftime adjustments, and we saw what happened. All right, the Bills adjusted really, really well. Um, I thought Allen. Early on was rocky, but I didn't really think McDermott put him in a in a place to have success either. You know, I, I felt with, like coming out throwing that uh, that much against the Jets defense, you know, and they're uh, playing in the Jets house. I thought that was a little weird. And I'm, you know, I was sitting there at the at the uh, bar. I was just like, okay, you know, I'll take it. You know, they could keep on throwing and throwing and throwing. A lot of these passes were incomplete, and and the and the, um, or were incomplete, and the Bills just couldn't really get going. And then halftime hits. 
and the Jets keep on doing the same thing, right? Making the same mistakes, and the Bills look like a brand new team, right? Uh, so it's really frustrating. And of course, the special teams blunder. I didn't, I didn't even bring that up. Uh, you know, on the uh, on the touchdown pass, missed the extra point which ended up killing us in the end. But that wasn't the only reason why, you know, because we had countless, countless opportunities in this game to, to seal it, right, to seal it. Whether you're talking about giving up a, a you know, a third and long, whether you're talking about, you know, having a wide open guy, uh, you know, wide open wide receiver running free and it's just an overthrown pass just in the dirt um, or just, you know, throwing every down like, at, you know, and the, really that, that two minute drive really, really bothered me uh, at the end. Really felt like we, we we have a lot more potential than that than just, you know, just simply saying hike and just trying to move, uh, you know, move the football at a rapid, rapid pace when we, we're not understanding the situation of the game. Just down by one point, two timeouts uh, with two minutes left. We don't have to go a million miles an hour throwing it and really trying to be aggressive. We can get the Bills defense guessing. We can, we can hopefully try to, uh, you know, pick up first down slowly and... Get in a field goal range. We didn't need a touchdown there. We didn't need to pick up, you know, go 80 yards and score a touchdown. We we weren't relying on an extra point or a two-point conversion. All we needed to do was get in a field goal range to have a chance, and we couldn't even do that. So it's frustrating, all right? So it's frustrating. And not to mention that we blew a lead. You know, we I think the score was 16-0 at, at, at one point. And the Bills come all the way back and score and win. <sighs> the Bills made adjustments. The Jets did not. The Bills looked rocky early on and then looked fine. The Jets were kind of, you know, the offense was just, it was it was just, uh, you know, it was disgusting to watch all day. The Jets offense. Although Le'Veon Bell did look good, um, I keep seeing a lot of people on Twitter saying, you know, taking shots at him, saying, "Oh, basically just looking at his stats because he didn't have like 200 yards rushing." Everybody's saying it's a wasted signing and stuff like that. Le'Veon looked really good. He was the only bright spot of, of today, you know. Uh, so we just couldn't get the ball rolling on offense. And yes, of course, the Bills do, like I said, have a great defense, but there was just so much bad. Right, we got to figure out what's going on. And prepare to Cleveland, prepare for Cleveland, uh, in Cleveland, week two on primetime. Because we cannot, absolutely can It's unacceptable to put on this performance on primetime football in Cleveland next week on Monday night. If we look like we did uh, Monday, like we did today, there's going to be, pro you know, there, the Jets fans are going to get uh, rowdy. The fans are going to get uh, angry and... Um, you know, feelings are going to escalate. Emotions are going to escalate quickly because there there hasn't been that many, you know, when you take a look back at recent history, there hasn't really been this much hype around a Jets season uh, like there has this year. All right. We haven't had a player of Le'Veon's, Bell, uh, Le'Veon's um, capabilities and talents in quite some time. Adam Gates comes in first offensive head coach in forever. Sam Darnold, everybody's giving him the crown and saying he's going to be a top five quarterback, whatever. Um... We have to pay our dues. We have to figure out what's going on. The league isn't just going to hand us victories. We have to go out and earn them. And if we can't, especially if we can't beat teams and they're they're just giving us possessions, right? The Bills, I mean, literally Josh Allen throws a pick right off the guy's hands. Throws another pick. Fumbles it on fourth, you know, fourth down and one. They're literally giving us the game. Mosley, pick six. Oh, hey, here, you know, New York Jets offense, here's an extra six points for you guys. We still can't get the victory at home against a division rival. Very frustrating stuff. Okay, very, very annoying. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. There's a lot to work on, especially on the offensive side of the football. Because I thought on the defensive side, we played good enough to win. I wasn't like by far like impressed with them or anything like that. But we 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 got the job done on defense. We did enough. The defense did their job. Wasn't pretty by any means, not in the least. But they did a good enough job to win. And that's what sucks. Because if the defense was horrible, and the offense was horrible, and the coaching was horrible, and the special teams was horrible, then you could kind of say, hey, look, let's just get right back to the drawing board. Let's figure it out. What's going on here? Um, but no, I mean, the defense, you know, they did their job. They got the turnovers. They got some stops. Um, they held the Bills to uh, zero points at halftime. You know, what more can you ask for from your defense? They're getting the job done. They're turning the ball over. So, 
Ah, it sucks. It sucks, man. Uh, but, you know, we have to move on. Week 2, Cleveland. Next week, Monday night. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Go Jets.